Streaking 90 miles across the South Pacific from bases in New Guinea, American Liberator bombers bound for the Japanese-held island of New Britain. New Britain, between New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, was once a German colony, then an Australian mandate until captured and fortified by the Japs. The Americans' objective, the Arawi Peninsula, 356 tons of high explosive softening up enemy positions in the jungle below. Naval guns coordinate their attack with the pounding from the sky. An invasion fleet moves in. The beachhead is won. Marken, northernmost of the Gilbert Islands, is another point of attack. Though small, Marken is of great strategic value to the United Nations. Navy cameras, synchronized with blazing guns, record the story as American planes blast and riddle Japanese shipping, trying to bring reinforcements to the island bases. Bombing the enemy airstrip, Yankee planes brave a hail of anti-aircraft fire. Again, they roar in. Jap bombers are destroyed on the ground. Steaming from the north, General MacArthur's 6th United States Army moves in. Lieutenant Colonel James Roosevelt, at right, son of the President, serving as an observer. A Japanese bomber is driven off. Another receives a direct hit. Amphibious forces storm the beach. Three days of jungle war against treetop snipers and hidden machine guns, and the island base is won. The entire garrison is wiped out. Those who would surrender are taken as prisoners. Bougainville, 200 miles across water from Rabaul, main Jap base on New Britain, is the last of the Solomon Islands in enemy hands. Now, in Bougainville's Empress Augusta Bay, heavy reinforcements pour in to strengthen the American position.